that's a decoy. <laughs> Good morning. It's uh, it's eight o'clock. It's Friday morning. I think it's November the eighth. Anyway, it's a heavy fog this morning. It's dripping off the limbs everywhere, and it's kind of getting visibility is getting less. But I think it'll clear on up pretty soon. I got a couple decoys set out a doe and a buck. The problem I'm having is it's so hot. And the location I'm in, the bucks don't rut until, I mean, it's, well, the does don't come into estrus until last week of December and the first week of January. So, y'all leave me a comment below. You think I should uh, put out some, you know, doe estrus, some tinks early, even though they don't come in until another month or so? Uh, or what do you think I should do? I got those decoys out there because, as a visual, obviously, so if anything's coming across the edges, they can look down in this cut and see them. So anyway, <laughs> I'm determined to see deer in this cut. I mean, I got them on camera at night, some bucks, and uh, by the way, that 10-pointer, he's still alive, so I'm thankful for that, so it gives me hope. But I could obviously get on the pasture, and I will there <laughs> eventually, and I could show you deer does but i'm not interested in any does uh, i'm interested in a big buck so i know you're thinking well if you'll hunt the does you'll you'll kill a buck well that very well may be the deal and it might be what i wind up doing but i'm uh right now i'm determined to hunt this cut this chop so y'all wish me luck uh i'm gonna ride it out and then i'm gonna come back tomorrow saturday too so i'm just gonna put in the time and uh hopefully we can get some a solid rain and uh some cold weather so here we go
folks. It's uh, it's nine o'clock Saturday morning. I'm checking in. I've seen five or six so far, but uh, nothing, nothing that I'm looking for. Oh, wait a minute. I see a deer right now. Yeah, there's one up here on the top of the hill. I'm going to come back here in just a second. Hang on just a second. Well, there's, <clears throat> there's one on top of the hill up there, and by the time I saw it, I couldn't tell what it was, and it disappeared in the thick cut, <laughs> but at least I'm finally seeing some uh, out here, so that's good. I'll tell you what, the deer around here are smart. I had a little bitty fawn come around here at, at daylight. And you gotta understand, the fawns are only four four months old around here because they, uh, they're they not born until August because it's such a late rut. But that fawn come around in here, man, smelling and slipping. And I was like, it had like a four-year-old doe. <laughs> All the deer are smart, but the more times I hunt it, the more shots I hear here and there. And also four-wheelers riding up and down the logging road. So there's a ton of deer around here, but they're educated for sure. So I've yet to see anything bigger than a spike. I saw a spike this morning, saw a spike yesterday, but haven't seen any of the bucks I have on camera. So I got three bucks I wanna see in person. One of them, his name is uh, Old Timer. He's an old eight pointer, big body. And then there's another three and a half year old eight pointer that's beautiful i call him king solomon he's gonna be a stud in two years if he makes it and then that other buck i'm hunting a 10 he we call him mr october so there's a bunch of bucks on camera and a bunch of deer i have to decide this evening if i'm gonna hunt the pasture or hunt this again but i'm still gonna sit another couple hours so y'all stay tuned hopefully hopefully i'm gonna bring y'all something spectacular all right guys it's uh saturday afternoon so, uh, I don't know, 2.45, I think, maybe, going on 3 o'clock. I've chose to skip college football for today and sacrifice, so they say you got to put the time in to kill a deer. So, I'm in the big box stand tonight. I'm fixing to give you guys a look at my, at my setup and everything, but it's hot. I'm telling you, it's hot, but I got three windows open, so it's circulating in here a little bit. Uh, but... Hopefully the deer come out and pour out in this field like they normally do, and I can show you all the deer I've been talking about on this property. So I'm going to let y'all look at my inside setup and see what you think. All right, I got my tripod right there where I can video. Got a grunt call, the can. Got my orange right there because I don't need it in here. If I leave, I got it and put on. Got one liter of fresh water. My other tripod in the corner. Got my CVA Scout 350 Legend right there. Got a plate of food right there. I'll eat about five. So I can look out this window right here. And I can look out the front window. Move this tripod out of the way where y'all can see. It's 185 yards to that wood line over there. Mm, she got that one to. So that's it.
All right, folks, we had a group of eight to our right while we're going down. There's probably another 12 or 14 to our left. I'll try to get some footage of them if I can. Three up there, I guess. One went over the hill. There's a bunch behind them cedars right there. Again, I can't get on them. There's a couple right there. Those deer right there are 250 yards away. Just show you another one that's way out there. Deer right there, doe. They're all does in here. There's not a buck in the crowd. That deer right there is 300 yards. ten right there and there's two more to the left way out yonder about 400 yards so I had a group of eight to my right and a group of 12 to my left so 20 deer All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Another fun hunt. I wind up seeing 20 deer, all dozing yearlings. Saw six this morning in one spot. So that's it. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope everybody has a great week. God bless each and everybody out there. And this is Trick and L saying so long, everybody, from the Peach State of Georgia.